Hi guys, welcome to my new video and uh, I'm sorry that today's video is late, I just have to film the intro which is what I'm doing now and I'll upload the video now um, but this has been a pretty long overdue video I filmed this video, I made this below as you can see here uh, in I think it must have been June, July um, but I never really got around to posting it because I didn't feel like the video was extremely interesting but now that I look back at the video and like now that I edited the video I actually think it's pretty cute but anyway um, yes so I use the Simplicity 8250 pattern um, to make this bolero and it's kind of pairs here with the walking skirt which you will see later I think this pattern is okay I may not use it again because it's actually the second time that I'm using it um, it's more for like 19... 1950s vintage style which is what the pattern is made for um, but I kind of just adapted it to make a little bolero for this outfit and I think it's okay I really like how this outfit kind of goes together later on you will see a like a small clip of me wearing this outfit when I'm seated on a bed and I will ex well I guess I should explain why that video is in there but so I was originally planning to do this video in French so I filmed the intro in French um, and then I realized that would mean I have to go back and edit all the clips that I was speaking English in because I filmed this video obviously in June and I had no plans to make a French video. Anyway, um, this video is in English obviously because I have no time to do French subtitles but I hope you like the video and um, overall I would say it was a fairly... it wasn't the best... like there were some mistakes obviously but um, I don't mind it. I really like this bolero. I would wear it again. I'll probably wear it first day of school next year. Um, so yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye! Okay, so I realized that I actually really want a bolero, still do the bolero that goes with the red skirt. So I'm going to do this pattern. I've done it before, um, and it's actually the really crappy jacket um, that's over there in that chair. <laughs> um, but it was pretty easy, and I think I just have like just the right amount of fabric. The only problem is that this is the front, and this only fits this front and sleeve lining so this is the this is only fits on this screen and I'm hoping that it won't really affect um, yeah I'm just really hoping it won't affect the actual like fabric um, because Shantung has uh, you know shiny color um, sorry I just came back from school and I'm very tired and I also have some ache so I can't really do words so I will cut this out now hello so I'm just sewing my dots now and also going through um, the instructions which are like kind of not great and also um, I've done it I've actually made this before so I'm just trying to kind of remember what I did and also um, this is like what I have to do so dots so I'm sewing the dots now and then now so the lining sleeve lining to bag join it together and then I think I will have to cut out the collar and face first and then do the collar before doing it this um, before like joining them all together um, so that's what I'm gonna do and also I got this um, train like it's, you can pull it out like a ticket. Um, I got it from like Japan, the, Nas the National Railway Museum in Japan. Um, it's actually outside Tokyo. So yeah, that is what I have to do. I'm sorry for like the backlighting um, because the light is tiny. Also my victory rolls look uh, kind of like victory roll today so that's good. Although I had to re I redid them when I got back home and the ones in the morning weren't that good. So I am going to sew this together and I haven't been doing a lot of sewing lately. Um, it's mostly just like fixing things and I don't count fixing things as sewing even though I feel like it's also a necessary evil. I don't like fixing things but I also need to fix things because I didn't do them properly the first time around so yes. And um, yeah, I'm going to do- th oh yeah so, <laughs> I should show you this. Uh, my friend made, crocheted me this little hat thing. So I put it on my head like this um, and uh, I also put my dress pins on it because I don't mix my pins so I have these little like round headed pins and then I have these dressmaker pins and then I don't like put them together because um, they're for like different things so yeah. Okay so basically the last time where I kind of screwed up was with the lining. Um, I ended up not knowing how to put the lining in so um, so this is the back and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew these two pieces so I'm going to sew the lining together and then the back together and I'll sew that and then I'll base that to each other and then I will do the front lining so this is the lining and here obviously this is the front part so I will base this down as well so I will do that now so to remember what to do okay so basically um, this is the facing um, 
interfacing is already on so i think what i have to do is now stay stitch this or kind of try and sew it like inside out so i can like flip it and then the collar will go here i think um i will try and figure this out again And I haven't like tacked it down, but you can kind of see how it's starting to be a bolero. And also, it's really short. I didn't realize that it was so short. And also, I didn't realize the sleeves were so short as well. Um, yeah, but anyway. Okay, so basically, what I've done is I've pinned the lining. I really wish that I actually used a lining that was not the same like thing because it's very hard to figure out which one is the lining and which is not but it's okay uh, anyway i just pinned the lining to the collar and then i'm going to hand stitch this to later on because it is now 5 30 a.m in the morning and then i also pinned this here so that i will like flip this up and then hopefully like tuck this in or something because the jacket is actually a little bit too short um yeah i just did the same thing here and then i just folded them to make sure that they're kind of like the same size this side looks a bit bigger but yeah, you go. I mean, um, yeah, I'll hand stitch this tomorrow, and it's now like 5:30, so I need to go to sleep. What? Yeah. Who's that? Why do, you look so, why do you look so angry? Are you so demanding? You don't want mama to do her homework? Is that it? <coughs> oh, you yawn. <coughs> so I ended up... I couldn't find the binding that was like the exact same shape, but honestly they're like... Oof, sorry. They're like... So I couldn't find binding, um, so I couldn't find braid that was like the exact same shade of gold but this is pretty similar, this is more of like a gold so this is the one I originally had and then this is more of like a green gold so I kind of just mixed it together because I, I feel like why not I know it's kind of not great now but I think when I sew it down it will look much better um, because braid like that so I'm going to sew this down first and then I'm going to figure out what I want to do for the cuffs and what I want to do for the skirt and also, I, I went to Spotlight by the way, um, and I got this really, really beautiful um, cotton, like, it's quite thick, it's like ca cotton canvas, and it's, okay, I'll just take it out. So I also got this cotton canvas, um, no, it's like, I think it's like just cotton, okay, it says here, um, Buzoku cotton, it's from Spotlight, and it's like 3.5 meters, and I just, I just took the whole roll um, and I think it's like absolutely beautiful I'll probably make a shirt dress with it and I also said I would not buy any more fabric but you know whatever
I also painted these. They were like originally really cool. They're from AliExpress, and then I decided they would match better if it was like this. So I matched green gold and gold and some other gold. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> 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 <laughs>